So we've skipped the intro today. Um, not only to shake things up, also because Logan is asleep right now and intros always take me the longest for some reason, probably because it requires me to make my thoughts more concise. Anyways, this has now turned into an intro. So I've mentioned this before, but watering my garden is one of my favorite things that I do every day. Even though I think our cucumber plant is actually dying and on its way out, we have had quite a few cucumbers grow from this plant. Also, we've been able to grow a few green and yellow beans. Our watermelon plant is still chugging along, although we have no watermelons growing from it yet. And our sage bush is still thriving. I actually made an omelet the other day with some sage from the garden, and it was so good. I don't even think I fully knew what sage tasted like. I do now. <laughs> um, our jalapenos are thriving. They always thrive in our garden. On this day, I decided to actually harvest two cucumbers that I felt were perfectly ready to go. And I thought they looked amazing, especially because last year we didn't get a single cucumber. Our whole plant just died. So it's very exciting times. Every year with gardening, it's kind of like a fun, artistic, scientific experiment. And it's always cool to see like what's gonna thrive, what we're gonna learn this year. Probably our biggest learning thing, and also our, our hardest challenge is that we grew a lot of plants from seed. And so that's made our homesteading very interesting this year. Side note, one of those tomatoes was totally taken by a squirrel and I'm mad. <laughs> By the way, I had spotted this cucumber after I picked the other one, and I thought that this one was ripe too, so I picked it. I've gotten a lot of questions on Instagram about this basket. Shayna, my sister, actually bought this for me at a thrift store for $1.50. She knew that I was on the lookout for this kind of basket, and she FaceTimed me from the store, and I was like, yes, please. I don't know, man, I love watering my garden, but this is the newest addition to my daily routine and that's blanket time with Logan every single day. I think I've mentioned that I've been watching some Montessori at home videos from the Hoppe family. And one of the things that she talked about was making sure that your child has outdoor time every day that isn't just in the stroller. So we've been going out, laying the blanket down and letting Logan just feel the breeze, look at the trees and just hang out. By the way, he's not like actually eating food yet, but pretty much for a good chunk of Logan's life, we've allowed him to taste little bits of food. And so on this day, we let him kind of nibble on a slice of watermelon. By the way, that's Shayna's husband, Isaac, if you are new to my videos. We were all just chilling on the grass. I'm actually remembering that this was on the 4th of July. So even though Shayna and Isaac always have cute style, that's why they're both in red, white, and blue on this day. All right guys, so we decided to take these cucumbers and make them into a cucumber salad. So Dan sliced up all the cucumbers for me because if you watch my videos, you know that occasionally Dan is the one that really likes doing like the specific chopping and slicing. I think it satisfies his very detail oriented heart. <laughs> so Dan sliced up all of the cucumbers and then sliced up the onions. By the way, my other sister, Michelle, was in town on this day as well, and she was hanging out with Logan and then FaceTimed my mom. It took my mom a second for her to realize that I wanted her to wave hi to the video. <laughs> Dan, by the way, simultaneously was making me some shredded chicken. So he was working on that, but then this was the mix of the cucumbers and the onions. The cucumbers were the freshest, brightest cucumbers I've ever had in my life, just throwing that out there. Um, then, Which I went if you on my didn't Pinterest. notice, I get most of my inspiration from Pinterest, so feel free to follow me there. I have a lot of food pinned. So then I took some apple cider vinegar, shook that up, and then drizzled a little bit on top of the salad. Clearly couldn't make my mind up about the amount. <laughs> then I took some of this organic coconut sugar, just poured some on top. Then I added a little bit of olive oil as well as a sprinkle of some pink Himalayan salt. 
Then I added some red chili pepper flakes. By the way, I didn't get this on camera, but I did end up adding a little bit of red wine vinaigrette and I think a little bit of honey as well. And the salad was so good. Dan boiled the chicken and then shredded it all for me because I decided I wanted to make not only lasagna for dinner that night, but some more lasagna to add in the freezer. And so he made that chicken, we peeled some garlic, and then I pulled out some artichoke hearts that I had picked up from Aldi. In the pan, I sauteed some Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, onions, and garlic. And while that was sauteing, I chopped up the artichoke hearts from my jar. Then I tried to make like a roux to make a cream sauce. This was kind of a fail, but also cooking is very forgiving compared to baking, so it's whatever. I basically took some butter and some flour and I mixed that in the pot while it was heating up. Then I added some chicken broth, stirred all that together, and then I dropped in some shredded, I think cheddar cheese. Sorry I didn't get that detailed with the filming of this recipe, guys, but um, this was kind of what was going on with my filling. As you can see, it did not turn into a cream sauce, but it was still still delicious. I ended up adding in a scoop of this pepper called Calabrian, Calabrian, I'm not sure how to say it, but it was recommended by the Pioneer Woman in one of her episodes. Um, then I went out to the garden, which you know I get so happy when I can say, I went out to the garden and picked blah -de blah So I picked some fresh rosemary and then Dan chopped that up for me. And then I threw that into the mix as well. I believe I also threw in some basil leaves and some spinach. And so this whole sauce was basically all of my veggies, the chicken, the roux. I added some more cheese, spinach, basil, rosemary, veggies. It's just kind of like a globby mess, to be honest. And I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out because it was like not a cream sauce like I had hoped. Um, but spoiler alert, this ended up being amazing. Like. Literally, Dan and I could not handle how good it was. And I was cooking this before my sisters had left. And so they tried a little like bite of just the stuffing before it was made into a lasagna. And everybody was saying that they felt like they could just eat it plain, like even without the lasagna. It was so good. I did add some goat cheese on top before I put the lasagna into the oven, by the way. And then post dinner, I need a dessert, duh. So I had this Kato ice cream, which is a dairy-free avocado-based ice cream. I'm literally obsessed with every single flavor. And I basically chopped some chocolate chips to add on top of the salted caramel flavor. So speaking of health, guys, this is me getting in my workout. Um, I'm very excited because I have started slowly working out more. I mean, I've kind of been working out since like, six weeks postpartum but honestly not only finding the time but dealing with the injuries that I've been dealing with it hasn't been very consistent but lately I have been striving to do not only my physical therapy exercises every single day but also I have started biking now and also doing some other like free form stretches and exercises just to try to really ramp up my recovery and get back in shape and just you know it's always a positive thing to add to your life I feel like exercise and staying as active Active as you can is as important as you know eating well sleeping well getting fresh air all of that jazz so I'm really happy that I have been able to make this more of a daily thing again so what I've typically been doing is biking first and then doing my PT and lately a lot of the exercises have actually been upper body stuff as well as core we're really focused on my neck right now because that was my most recent kind of pressing concern and injury so I wanted a really easy quick lunch Logan was napping at this point and I felt like I wanted to use more of my nap time to do other things other than you know cook so I felt really proud of my past self because this is one of the smoothies that I made when I was preparing for postpartum. If you saw those videos, we did a ton of freezer cooking and we bagged like, I want to say 20 or more smoothies. And so I actually still have a few left. And so on this day, I made this berries and green smoothie. And then I added just a couple of fresh ingredients to it. Like I always do to food that I pull out of the freezer. So Dan has been wearing Logan a lot lately in our Cantha Bay sling, and I just had to show, it's just so cute. Honestly, he is so cute, Dan is so cute. Logan in the swing is so cute, it's just, uh, 
So cute. Oh, so I must have shot that footage like in between my smoothie making. He must have like, I guess he woke up while I was making the smoothie. Um, but I wanted to show you some of the fresh things that I put in. I squeezed a lemon as well as an orange um, to get the juice into the smoothie. I feel like the bright citrus flavors really wake up a smoothie and kind of cover any greens taste or protein powder taste. Um, and yeah, it was yummy. By the way, later in the day, I got some pumping done. And the irony is that I got this pumping done while I was making these lactation cookies. So um, very exciting times. And I only burnt like a quarter of the batch this time, guys. The rest was perfect and just so delicious. So now you're seeing us back outside, um, I guess on another day, because we really do try to do this every single day. It's so sweet, it's relaxing, it's peaceful, and it feels so purposeful for Logan's development and mental and physical health. Um, and so it's kind of cool because we both get taken care of this way and it's just a really sweet time. By the way, often at the end of our blanket time, I will put him back in the stroller and we will take a walk around the neighborhood before we go home and I put him down for another nap. <laughs> oh my goodness! He's full of so much life and birth. He's a happy baby. Can I have a kiss? Mm. Oh, that's right. I steal all the kisses. You enjoy being pat? Is this relaxing for my baby? Oh. <laughs> you never lie on your tummy. You can never relax there. But Daddy's making it happen. Oh. <laughs> Is that funny? Is this like a massage for you? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, Daddy. You're funny. Is your daddy stupid? Is your daddy stupid? Or does he know exactly what you want? All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It not only helps my videos in the algorithm, but it also helps to let me know what you like seeing and the fact that you guys hopefully do like these videos. Also check the info box for today's semi-secret giveaway, and I will hopefully see you back here soon with another new video. Bye, guys.